Pete and Sandra, I know it was a sight to see. Pete, your reaction, even in that quick little clip, is priceless. I, um, I couldn't help myself. I really couldn't. I'm always amazed by the wonders of science and nature like that and the wonders of the universe. And to have a moment like that, to see a moment like that, it's just tough, Sandra, to put into words. And obviously, I had a hard time at times. I think we're still catching our breath. Yeah. You know, it was truly a moment to remember. I don't know what was more exciting, to watch the solar eclipse or to witness Pete <laughs> witness the solar eclipse. It was fascinating. And, you know, if you missed it, we actually captured the moment when everybody here just collectively screamed when it got dark. Just watch. Fascinating, still getting chills from reliving that moment when everything went dark and the solar eclipse was fully visible here in Indianapolis. Yeah, it was, uh, again, it was an amazing sight, especially since, you know, you, I, I know you did a little bit of homework and I did a little bit more research on exactly the events leading up to the moment. And it was like textbook. It was like clockwork, everything going off perfectly. And to be able to witness it without a cloud in the sky, just made it that much better. Yeah, and it was really cool because there was half of the people were in the stands. The rest of them were on the track here at the Speedway. Some of them were laying down on the ground, just looking up at the sky. They were just fascinated. We met a couple that came here from South Bend, Indiana, a family that came from River Forest, and even a dad who flew in from California to be here with his daughter. And here's what they had to say when they witnessed it. This is spectacular. Once in a lifetime, I'm telling you. This uh, this is my daughter. She <laughs> went to Purdue, and we came all the way for a wedding. We took the time off to watch, see this. This is spectacular. We drove here today for this. We checked the weather all over the Midwest, and this is the best spot. <laughs> I think everyone realized in that moment how big of a deal this really was. Yeah, when, when you see it, and it was, fortunately, it was uh, completely visible uh, for the entirety of the event. Uh, but just to see it and, and witness it was, uh, I, I noticed, too, that uh, it got really quiet. Yep. Despite the fact that we were amongst thousands of mm -hmm. people, there were a few people t who were taking pictures with their cell phones. But most were just absorbing the moment and yeah. taking it in because moments like this, that what we saw, they don't happen very often. And we took our, you know, glasses off too. Yeah, we were able to take the glasses off to of watch the, uh, the eclipse in its entirety. And it was, uh, again, just amazing. So cool. You know what, Pete? We did see just a quick little clip of you getting emotional uh, right at the top of the show. Let's take a, a little bit of a longer look at that moment. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. We're almost there. There it is. It's totality. This is just amazing. I, I, I can't believe I'm able to bring this to you. I'm taking my glasses off for a moment because you can actually look up and see. We're seeing kind of a diamond effect, but we can see the halo. We can see the corona around the sun. The stars are starting to come out. This is just an amazing sight. I just watch for a moment while I gather myself because I'm just in awe of the, the sight that I'm seeing right now. <laughs> I tell you what, Pete. It, you it, it, I can't it, help it. I still can't help it. At I know, this moment, it, it, I still it was, can't help it. It was so because authentic. Because when I see that, I relive what I saw in my mind. Yeah. yeah. I just I just relive it all. And to have that moment and to see that moment uh, and experience it, it, I, I, it, I'm just at a loss for words. Yeah, he obviously. had not even watched it. I said, it's on Instagram now. Have you seen it? He said, I don't want to see it yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll my see wife it recorded it, yep. and I will watch it with her. So that is well, wonderful. It, it was beautiful yeah. to see see exactly. that authentic moment. Pete Zack, you are a resident science teacher slash meteorologist. We love <laughs> to, to see your love of science in action. Thanks so much, Sandra Torres and Pete Zack reporting you. from Indianapolis. And the science lessons extended beyond the planetarium. At one school in Aurora, kids got the chance to learn through experience. Lexi Suter caught up with them to see what they thought. So many feelings of just pure joy and excitement here at McCarty Elementary School in Aurora, where hundreds of our littlest learners are getting this cool experience. Just before 2 o'clock, McCarty Elementary School sat its students down outside, equipped with eclipse glasses and ready to watch the sky. I'm feeling pretty happy. I get to see this. I remember it as um, like a joyful moment and you know, peaceful, it's pretty, a little cold. <laughs> 
students of all ages joined together for the event, watching the eclipse with such wonder. Looking at the sun and like looking at it, it's like a banana. Like pillows, a pillows trip. It's cool how it's like uh, you see how it's merging into the sun. It's actually pretty cool. This is just one of 22 elementary schools in the Indian Prairie School District 204 that is hosting a community watch party. We know for our students, this is the type of educational experience that can only be delivered, um, you know, once, sometimes once in a lifetime. It was an important event to execute for Deputy Superintendent Dr. Lewis Lee. One of the things that happens uh, when you have events like this is you get to see uh, your youngest learners uh, be able to interact with something that no matter how much you talk about in the classroom, no matter how many videos they may see, uh, it's, it's nothing comes and can replace uh, the action experience. Reporting from Aurora, Lexi Suter, NBC5 News. Let's check in first with meteorologist Maricela Vasquez with our Telemundo Chicago sister station. She's downstate in Carbondale, which was also in the path of totality. Marcella, we know you are really looking forward to or were really looking forward to the eclipse. Did it meet your expectations today? Yes, it did, but I'm still digesting this. I'm still like, I think once I get to the hotel, I'm going to start crying because it was something I cannot describe. And then I had a scientist from NASA that was explaining to us and he was showing us, look at the Bailey beads, look at here. And when you saw the sun corona, it was fabulous. And also we got to feel the drop of temperatures. It got a little bit chilly, it was starting to get warm. And then the change in colors in the horizon, they were unbelievable. And actually, they had a big billboard that said here once in a lifetime again because Carbondale got to experience for the second time in seven years is very unusual a total solar eclipse. But this time it was four minutes and those are the most wonderful four minutes in my life. I really enjoy it. It was a great experience. I got to see the reactions in people. Some of them start crying. Some of them told me that they were afraid because it suddenly got dark in the middle of the day. Another said that it was great. They, they were laughing. They were smiling. The scientist for NASA that he actually studies and look at the sun every single day. You should see his face. He was smiling. He said, I've never seen anything like this. And he was explaining detail by detail. But let's see the reaction of some of the students here at SIU. I've seen the eclipse before seven years ago and it's just awesome to see it again. I really really enjoy it. it was just like overwhelming it was just there's no word to describe it. It was fun to have all these people around in the stadium to be a part of it. So there's no words to describe this event. We love science. I seeing like hearing Aisha, Alicia, everyone's so excited. Pete crying as meteorologists and scientists. We really enjoy today's day and just to see it witness with our eyes. I'm still shocked, a little <laughs> bit tired, but I'm very, very happy. So back to you guys. Uh, the, yeah, I love these authentic reactions from our yeah. scientists, our, our resident scientists. Thank you so much, Maricela. We appreciate your reporting. And our team coverage continues right now with Charlie Vajahusky live at the Adler Planetarium for the Solar Eclipse watch party there. Charlie, no totality at Adler, but we still imagine a lot of emotion. There really was, Alex. It was a great day out here anyway. You know, the weather was perfect. The sun is shining on us, and it kept the temperatures warm. A lot of people would have been out here anyway, but you add the eclipse to it, and it was just over the top. We were not in that vaunted path of totality, but the people out here just didn't care. They came from all over for what some call the best spot in Chicago to watch an eclipse for the ages. For Yvonne Waltz, this is both a birthday celebration and a celebration of the solar system dancing across the sky. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I missed last time, so I decided to do it this year, so I'm happy. I've got another star. There you go. For those who didn't come equipped, the Adler Planetarium is handing out eclipse viewing cards. And for those who wanted a big picture, these were extra big viewing glasses, and yes, they were real, and yes, they worked. Just ask Cynthia Hall. It was her birthday, too. This is such an awesome event to witness on my birthday. I am so excited. Now, can you see a little something so far? I can see a little something. Um, there is a small dot on the right lower side of the sun. Well, some people tried to take pictures, which was hard without special gear. 
Misha Zabani and Carmen Siu took a different approach, committing the eclipse to memory and this notepad. We decided to start logging what we saw and write down what we were seeing through our lenses because you can't take a picture of it with the iPhone. <laughs> so it's been really cool. So we started to see the moon start to creep over the sun and then now you can really see like a, a, a curvature. We've just been staring at it and it's surprising how fast it's moving. Yes. Like we just thought it would be like, I don't, I don't think I realized what it would look like because I've never actually watched the eclipse before. Um, but it's cool to actually see the curvature of it and then be like, that is the moon. Wait a minute, I see it. By 2 p.m. the eclipse had hit its zenith. The sky darkened ever so slightly. All was quiet and for a brief time before everyone wanted to share what they had just seen. This is really cool. Honestly, I had forgotten about it. I didn't know, know it was happening today until my mom texted me and I was like, I got to see that. Like, that just looks really cool. It was worth it, yeah. It was really nice seeing it. Now, Cynthia said she enjoyed it so much. She's planning a return trip for the next eclipse. That means she's planning about two decades in advance. <laughs> Reporting live here on Northern Island. Charlie Wojciechowski, NBC5 News. I want to see that calendar. There you the go. The two-decade-out calendar. Quite yeah. an event today. Charlie, thanks Charlie. so much. Well, in Evanston, just up the lake, students got to go outside for the big event and take that all in. Yeah, NBC5's Kate Chappell takes us there for this teachable moment. So. Audible oohs and ahs. Oh, it's more of a sliver now. From eighth graders at Nichols Middle School in Evanston. I feel lucky. I'm not going to be able to see this in another 20 years. They've been preparing for this moment for weeks. They are so lucky to have a very, very near total eclipse shown to them and one of the coolest uh, phenomenon they can see. I think it looks a lot different than compared to like the photos that we look at. I think like in person, it's a lot more surreal. Although Luna and solar eclipses are part of the curriculum every year. This class is extra special for obvious reasons. Absolutely a dream. <laughs> I mean, you think about all the things that you build up and hope to see in your life. Solar eclipses is definitely up there with one of the, the most impressive things you could ever see. Evanston not in the path of totality. I expected it to be like night dark, but like I, my expectations have got to be high. Students did have to temper expectations. The moon, exactly. But still in enjoyed science coming to life before their eyes. I love this. Textbooks are amazing. They serve their purpose. But getting to see it in real life is cooler than I can imagine. The midday twilight, a true treat for teacher and students alike. I do like missing class. It's pretty nice out here too. It's like a nice day, sunny, no clouds, perfect weather. After all that excitement, school wasn't done for the day just yet. Students did have to go back inside for last period. Despite a little more learning left, students were all smiles after this, for many, once in a lifetime experience. In Evanston, Kate Chappell, NBC5 News. Among thousands of high schoolers from across the area that also enjoyed the show, NBC5's Chris Christian Farr joined them as they took the classroom outside to witness this rare event. Remember that normal will not you with the necessary protection until the eclipse. The announcements were clear outside of Naperville North High School, where students had the chance to leave their classrooms and witness something that will not happen again until 2044. Okay, right now, it's like, it's more like a half moon, like a like a crescent almost, and it's like facing downwards. Sophomores Norm Malone and Ryan Carries joined their science class to watch the eclipse. Ryan was hoping to travel to the path of totality. I know a couple of uh, family members who are also traveling. I kind of wish, you know, I could get to see it uh, in totality because it'd be super cool seeing it go from like day to night. Nora missed it back in 2017, but was happy to not miss this experience. It's a really cool experience, especially, and you have to be careful because if you don't have it with your glasses, then it can damage your eyesight too. It's fun too, seeing the kids excited about something all day. Science teacher Tom Champion shared his students' excitement and even Evan's desire to travel to the path of totality. While that did not happen, Champion says watching the eclipse outside of the classroom was good enough. We lucked out with the weather and the sunlight, and it's as you can see, it's already getting kind of orangish out, mm -hmm. and it's it's something that most kids won't have a chance to see again. Right now, it's at about 94 percent here in Naperville, and Tom Champion says there was so much to be learned from this eclipse after these students went through the pandemic. All the kids are now saying they wish they would have gone to see totality, and I told them I said, yeah, I wish I would have gone too. It just didn't work out this year, but to get kids out in the world and away from their computers is more important now than I think ever. In Naperville, Christian Farr, NBC5 News.